I've been a video for a long time. I've been down, not gonna lie. But now I thought it was time to make a movie again. So now I'm gonna explain a little bit. I'm gonna start with explain a little bit. Long story short, ran out of money, had some problems with some cars. Couldn't go to the world championship and drive go-kart. It was the plan all there. That was shit. But that's how it is, could be worse. Many of the problems I had is gone now, I fixed it, took a lot of time. Uh, so now I've been working on the workshop for the last couple of weeks. I'm gonna show you what I did so far. I got a breast of the talk, Rene. I put up the last glass there. Now is it the uh, end of September. This last glass arrived to the guy I ordered from in the second week this year, in January. So now finally I picked it up and I put it in. So the cabinet is completed now. Only thing now is that the lead is not working how it should. So I have to use it with the fuse there. Normally I could do it on the phone, but that's not working out anymore, of course. And this week actually I made this frame with those because this is going to be my... Those are going to be inside of those, two of those. I'm going to show you now more of it. The other ones is sitting outside in the rain, actually. Because I'm actually not sure if I want to show you this in the roof here because that's not so nice, but... Okay, let's show you. I made this box up in the roof. What I mean is not nice, it's all the fuging I did. This is with uh, this fire uh, fuger because this has to be closed. Those pipes is moved a little bit lower. And this white frame was over there, gonna be on this one now. And the air coming from the dawn time is coming here. I'm gonna turn up 90 degrees up to this hose. So made those up in the roof, not block the air was coming in too much, you know, so it's floating easier. And here's gonna be the filter then, in between the white frame I showed you. I actually like this, you see, this is the filter out of the box. This is thicker, this filter, so here we got like 40 millimeters between two of those. And I made it so I can open and close so we can change this filter, you know. Yul is actually on his way today, it's Saturday. So we're gonna put up this frame later on today if we manage. I'm not sure how we're gonna manage because I don't have this lifter now. But we will try to get it up. And it's inside here. Here I did few things. Yesterday evening I measured out these lines because I'm going to put tails here today. As you can see from earlier on it's totally different. This Everything is moving out. That's because that's mess, mess inside of there. It's done painted so hopefully I'm going to manage to tail up the complete floor here today. <coughs> I actually don't think I showed you guys but outside here is it also it's done. I and you put up this wall a couple of weeks ago and we made the, the bottom beschlag there a couple of weeks later. Yeah, I got myself some more glasses. I was thinking about using on the stairs inside there. And I cover up this. This also didn't show you, I think. So the outside, outside is start looking good now. As you can see from this angle. Ah, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Then I go back inside, I'm gonna mix some free slim tail glue. Actually, there, Yvonne just arrived. Hello, buddy. Hello. A great weather today, Yvonne. Yes, nice, great, nice weather. Now you're gonna walk over to the neighbor yes. because Yvonne got a job here before <laughs> first of all. Yes, nice. Hopefully they did, they did like they said, and don't put an alarm. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like it's no alarm. Yeah? Good. Now are you light? Perfect. So you're going to do this, Jon? Yes, I'm going to do this. It's yes. going to take a couple of hours. Yeah, at least. Then I'm going to do some tailing. Yeah. And when you are done here, then we eat lunch. Yes, lunch. Breakfast. A couple of hours. Yes, sounds good. Nice. Good plan.
I came nowhere so far this day. I've just been preparing for the tailing, but didn't start. But I'm going to go and look and see how Yoon's doing because I'm hungry. Mm. Yuna? Hello, mister. Good brother? It's only the back windows left. They're going to be silver and then uh, we're going to eat you on. It's going to See you later on. This frame is now prepared. When you and I are done eating, we're going to put glue on this and we're going to try to feed it up there. I'm not sure it's because we should have been one more guy yes. or person, but the glue is on. I have about a tie though. Yeah, yeah. There you go, it's up. Were you good, Jon? No, I actually didn't. It's actually not good. It's good enough for us. Yeah, it's good enough for this. <coughs> Sorry, since this now is done. You want to play, boy? Were you good? Should we begin to freeze? Okay. Tiling. It's tailing time. This is the mix room for the paint box. So we have to get it ready now before January because then we're going to start to paint helmets again. Yes. Yes. <coughs> there we go. That side, the one I have to cut, I do tomorrow when this is dry. We have more uh, tail glue, so we thought we could cut some tails with uh, the flex to have uh, cut at his home. So he can put those tails also, you know? Break 100% woman. Yeah. Ah, it's good enough for this. Uh, it's good enough for this workshop floor. First or the center filter piece is up. Talk so on. Thank you for today. Yon is going home now to do office work, and I continue a little bit here. Maybe some office. Maybe. <laughs> it's not maybe. I'm pretty sure you're going to do. <laughs> And the reason why I say you're only going to do that is because almost every Saturday we've been working a lot here. Yeah. I most of the time continue with some, some detailing, let's detailing. call it that. But you will always send pictures and stuff that he's continuing working yeah. at home. Almost every Saturday. Almost, almost every time. Almost every time. Sunday. And now I'm going to start to cut the tails. In edges. Cutting tails now with the Makira tail or glass cutter. It's actually, I'm so happy with this one. This is working really nice. Now then, I'm gonna do like that. Like that. There we go. Du slipper ikke unna noen hvidelogg den gangen her, eller Glenn? Nå er det så pen nå, så nå må vi ta deg med. Hæ? Skal vi ut på elektrimportøren, for her får vi noen gode priser på strøm. Så den, nå er Glenn my buddy. He's connecting the electricity cabinet up in the corner there. I showed you in earlier movies, I mounted. But Glenn is doing the inside now. Then I can show you. I made this almost finished. It's 
just to, to paint a little bit on the edges out in the corners. Except that it's done. And now I test mounted these lights I got from Electric Import Turn. Stor tak to Electric Import Turn. They, uh, they're giving me super, super prices now on the stuff I need to finish this up. So that's the thing. Um, the end is also going to connect some electricity in this one. Wow. So this is going to be good. Glenn, are you agree? Awesome. No. I, I just said this is going to be good. Yeah. Little twiller, no? Electrifying. Electrifying. <laughs> The good thing with Glenn doing this is now I can get rid of <laughs> stuff. Polske. Polske. <laughs> they are sick to see. But this is something I just had to do to get my heat pump, heat pump to work actually. How is it going, Glenn? Ah, this was so effective. Now, the passed it so well. You didn't make it last time, either. Yeah. Glenn just left. Huge thanks to Glenn. Super help. Appreciate it so much. Those uh, lights from Electric Burton and Lys are showing you hell of a lot. It's lighting almost too good. In the roof here, I did like this. I need to go out because of the door to the cabin there. And I thought about going 90 degrees out, but I think it's cooler like this when it's 45. I want to go upstairs and sleep a little bit. Tired these days. I've been masking up the floor here now and I'm putting some white colors down to the fuga so the edge is going to be nice. This is going to need a couple of flyers and this is going to dry till tomorrow and put another one. Yeah. It's a new day and a second layer of paint is going on. Yesterday I had my friend on sponsor here, Ragnar from Bilog Specialisten. And he helped me look at what kind of paint I'm gonna have here. The mixing leg. And now I'm gonna measure out the filters in the box and order that from him. So that's good, that's good progress. Looks like this is going to be good enough. Yeah. Now I put on those. Because now I'm going to connect this engine back to the relay panel there. And later on we're going to make this cable longer all the way into the other side of that wall. So then, when that's done, I think I'm going to try to start it from inside there. Yeah, that's the plan today. Huh? <laughs> Light in the Firom. I just connected this now. Um, I said earlier I'm going to manage to get this cable into the other side there. That video was actually yesterday. I'm also not going to manage today. The other stuff, but... <laughs> That's what it is. I tried tomorrow again. <coughs> now I at least got lighter. Easier to work with him. <laughs> there we go. That's the switches to the heater and the fan. I have to adjust those a little bit, I can see. Now they are inside here. All right. Nice. But now I can't do anything more here because I have to prepare this floor now. Tomorrow is it Saturday and then we're gonna straight it up. Because this is not straight, then we're gonna have some rister on top of here. So we need to yeah, straight it up tomorrow. There we go, it's cleaned it out. Now I'm just gonna check the heights then. Make a few points to have the level. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do that today. 
because it's already late and the rest to do tomorrow. I have to read about the primer because if the primer have to stay many hours before we put the liquid on top, we have to do primer today. I'm gonna to check that straight away. Actually. It's dry after half an hour plus, so I can do that tomorrow. Now I level it up. I checked on all these marks I made. I'm gonna have to level things. Here is it too high. The reason why I don't gonna fill up more than to compare is because I have the edge there, I'm not gonna go higher when it comes to the rister and stuff on top of the liquid. And it's going to be too expensive because it's gonna to be too much all over. So these are gonna sand down straight up when everything else is done, we're gonna take away a little bit of the floor here. I'm gonna borrow a machine and do that. That's a lot of work, but it's the way I have to do it now. <coughs> so then, I'm going to float liquid into that line tomorrow. And I'll deal with that later on. Mm. I turn off now for today. I don't have any more energy to do anything more. We continue tomorrow. Shit, the lights is on and I should not be on. Wait. There we go. Mounted those lights outside here. And they start and stop when the sun go up and down. So that's pretty cool. I just wanted to have some lights outside here because it's so super dark when it's darker, like this direction. This is better. So today morning. When I wake up today, I just, I dreamt of doing this work that I was stressing doing all the floor alone. So I actually decided now when I wake up that I'm going to do half the floor now today and half tomorrow. The thing is, is that I don't have the mixer I normally have who can stay mix without me. I use it earlier, but I only have one mixer. I have to stay there and hold it myself. So, and Yuen is not coming today. He had to help his brother. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> So I thought of, it's better to do the half. Then I can walk on one half and straight it out and that's gonna be better. I can split this in two. But it's still too early to start to make sound and make holes in the floor there. So I actually thought now I can start to try to mount the glasses in this door. This is something we also have to be done. That's not making any huge sounds this morning. And the glasses we got here. It'd be nice to, if I can put them in, I also get rid of them because they're staying in the way. So let's try. The thing is that with this door, this gasket, we should fit in this line. This is used, I got it from a friend for free. The gasket was too old and it was too dry, so it broke when I took it out. So now I'm using this universal thing, this foamy glue on. And I don't know if I have a gasket to have in between here now, because this is thicker than the original one and make the glass tighter here. So I have to go and see if I find something. Many, many would don't understand this, but like this door, to organize this is takes so much time but again it had been super expensive to go and buy a new door so that's how it's going to be i guess <coughs> oh that's what it but i know <coughs> i have a couple of gaskets here but i think every one of these is too thick now Luckily, this is actually fitting. It's tight, but it's fitting. From this side, it's not looking too good, but I don't care about it now. We have to make it done. Then I'm going to finish this up. There we go. It took one and a half hour. But glass is in. There it is. I've been looking for it for almost 10 minutes, and I put it there. I put up the list between so I have an edge to flow to and I put primer on the edge now I'm gonna put primer all over the middle and you probably realize Mr. Saturday is not here today 
that I spoke to you a couple of times already. He is helping his brother today, changing uh, the door at his brother's house. So he's working, just not here. The primer is not dry, totally dry. Then we're gonna mix. It's actually already dark outside, it's late. Because I got an express order on some um, racks, yesterday evening will have to be done now tomorrow for a customer. They're gonna use it on a messe in, in uh, Oslo, I think, Monday evening. So I, I spent a lot of hours already today on that. I'm gonna spend more this evening and a lot of time tomorrow to make it finish, but that's why it's, it's already late and I didn't do almost anything inside here today. And now then, since my head is uh, on the other project, I, I said wrong, it's not time to mix. First we have to make the, the heights, the levels. That's the first thing I'm gonna do now. Everyone now is 3.8 there, that's what it should be. Then we put some tapes on them and we are good to go. There we go, now it's gonna be easy, super easy to spot those when the liquid is coming because now it's gonna float up and down. Up and down. Now I got some support. Is Morten ready to this out the floor? Yeah. Ah, good to go. Da begynner vi å blande da. This have of course uh, fall over da. Sånn er det når uh, I'm gonna drive easy. Slow and easy. Det that's totally difficult. If I like it, I have tilt the seal and see what's going on. Oh, no, no, no. Thanks, Amorta. Should we explain the little bummer? <laughs> the I fucked up. It's a schluck there, a small one. I forgot to, to cover it up, so I was covering with the, the bucket completely full and just blew and I just saw everything went down into the hole. I just, what fuck? And I just hold over it. My, my brother ran away to get something to, to cover it up with. <laughs> that was a mistake. <coughs> anyway, thank you for that. Let me take the other half tomorrow. Sunday morning and I'm... First of all, now I'm going to continue with the, the racks I have to make for the customer. Mm. Those are done. Drill it and the plates is soon done. But now I... Uh, what could you say? I have prepared this for primer. I took away the wood pieces there. Vacuum clean the floor, gonna make the holes later when the clock is a little bit more so I don't make too much sound for the neighbors again. Uh, I put primer and then I'm gonna finish up the... forgot the name. Stativa. The stands for the product they're gonna sell with this mess. That's I'm gonna finish up sharp primer this one later on. There is all the rister I'm talking about. I lifted one small piece inside so you can see it. It's there. This is how it's gonna be in the paint box. And few of those gonna have water uh, in it. So I have to make some uh, body colors and pools for it. In steel, we have to make steel plates. We bend it up around this one and put this in top of, and we're gonna fill a little bit of water in it because the water um <clears throat> connect the dust a lot so every professional paint box have water in the floor yeah parts are made it's done just have to paint them that's what i'm doing now yesterday i spoke of the hide i did put this two millimeter higher than first planted and because of that this is now the line where I have to sand away the floor where it's too high. Not all this piece. So this is now much better. Now I only have to work with this piece later on. Uh, 
I'm done. Now I'm just going to clean up everything. And I'm going to take some food. Huh. It looks pretty straight actually. Did a lot of work with it now, so it should be super straight. Super, super, super straight. This is also the end of this video. Next one, I'm gonna continue from where I'm stopping now. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, cheerio.